My name is Nicolas Montesioca. I am from Mexico and I am the hand balancer at the Cirque du Soleil news show Axel. I wake up, I try to make a little breakfast and uh, get ready to take the bus. Good morning. <laughs> we take the bus, we arrive here. It all depends. Sometimes we are going directly into creation of the act. Sometimes we are working in uh, different cues that we have to do during the show. Just going to my spinning table um, for a little bit of training. Come with me. <laughs> Usually the material of the table is it's very slippery, so I use resin to make it sticky. I guess after putting my hands many times in the same place, it becomes like a you know like a little thin resin uh, layer, which is also good because it helps me to see exactly where I want to put my hands, like when I'm performing. So as you can see, it's like it has the size, like exactly in one side and one side, and that's it, I guess. And uh, I don't clean it so much because I feel like it, the more I have, the more sticky it comes, so I don't slip out and fall. <laughs> uh, after that, we have a lunch. Also, they are preparing us for doing... A, I, I never skated before, so they are giving us uh, classes for the skating. And then after we finish the day, also with a different maybe cues or doing different uh, preparations for the show, then we take the bus back. We have dinner, and most of my evenings are either going for a bike ride or try to find a nice place to eat and uh, try to get to bed early because like, the days are long and we want to make sure that we rest our bodies and we're ready for, for the whole process. Last thing I'm doing before the bed, uh, I try to send a message to my son. Yeah, like I try to call him just before I go to bed. Uh, he is now at the moment in Portugal, so the time difference is kind of complicated, so I send him a voice message. Like I try to remember this every day. And then, uh, yeah, turn on my phone and then go to bed. I have a very beautiful childhood. I was um, raised in the south of Mexico in a very small town in Coltepoztlan with a lot of rivers and waterfalls. And um, I grew up with my twin brother, uh, my older brother and my mother. When I was a kid dreaming about uh, becoming a circus performer was not one of the, the dreams I had. I actually started doing circus when I was uh, 23. So I wasn't even thinking to do circus when I was a kid. But I had a lot of dreams. I was thinking to maybe become a a yoga guru, <laughs> or maybe uh, become a pilot. The way I became a circus artist was uh, a little bit more like accident. I met a guy once when I, I think I was about 19 uh, in the street. He was doing a circus, uh, like a street show in Mexico, near where I live. And I was very interested and by destiny, we ended up becoming good friends. We lived together afterwards and he started teaching me. Uh, at the very young age, I think when I was 20 years old, uh, I became a father. So I had to make a big decision what I wanted to do with my life and what I wanted to do for my son. So I decided randomly to, um, to become a professional circus artist. So when I was uh, 23, I traveled to China to do a circus school there. I ended up being lucky enough to find one of the best handstand coaches there is in China and in Shanghai. And I ended up staying there for about five years. Oh, yes. Okay, good, very good. Okay, good. After that, the destiny took me and I started working for the Seven Fingers, the company I was just working before and doing uh, circus festivals and creating more circus things, and now here we are. Aquí estoy con mi cuate Ernesto, la banda mexicana de Axel. Ya casi, ya casi para la primera en Quebec. How I got into the circus, they actually contact me. Uh, she sent me a message on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is amazing for that. And they contact me and asked me like, do you want to be part of this new project? Do you have free on these days to these days? And uh, luckily I was, and I was very interested to become part of this project. For the act that we're doing now, I warm up my shoulders, which are more important for handstand, shoulder, wrist and elbows. I warm up my shoulders. I make sure that my legs and my core is completely warm. I do my handstand uh, basics to be, make sure that Sylvia, which is my artistic director, uh, has the best input to go forward with the creation of the act. I love uh, the music. I think um, Cirque du Soleil and Axel, the whole team of Axel, did a very good decision with the music. I think the music of the show is amazing and I am very in love with the music for the act and it helped me a lot because I get very inspired for what we're going to do for the act 
I think uh, one of the themes of the music is one of the styles of music that I really love, which is perfect for me. And uh, I've been talking to a lot of the cast uh, members and they also think the music is just incredible. Something that I didn't expect from, the, from coming to work with Cirque du Soleil was a lot of the, the surprises and, and the efficiency. Like we, we have a very beautiful team collaborating with creation of our act, the, with the cues, uh, the technicians, the creative department, the costume, the music. Everything is like so well put together as the Cirque du Soleil has so much experience with uh, the shows before. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And that was a little bit of a wow, like especially the way things are organized to be able to to deliver this baby in a due date. That impressed me a lot. That was very like um, surprising and at the same time satisfying just to be part of this at the moment. Cirque du Soleil is a company that is uh, looking for different acts and different new age uh, circus performers. And I think the, uh, one of the best advice I could give is just to, to be different. To be different and try to push it, your, your career or your artist uh, feeling towards that way. I would say Axel is very sweet, love and a lot of excitement.